Thinkers here, let's talk about some of the just obvious shadiness that happened around my daughter's case after being killed by in a car accident by Wisconsin Senator, now retired Janet Buley. I already did one video on DA David Meany, but there's plenty more to say. His statement was bad homework. His job was to prove charges could be brought on Buley, and he did the obvious exact opposite. It read like it in everything. Leading up to the report, which took close seven months for him to put out. First, the police wrongfully released files, and of course, the DA did nothing about that. As far as I know, not a word was said to one cop or whoever let the ball drop. Why? I believe because they meant for it to happen. I never got an answer as to how that could have ever happened unintentionally, and the DA even admitted that that wasn't how it was supposed to happen, yet nothing was done about it. Not long after their little leak that conveniently happened days after it came out the uh, public that I was pressing charges, the DA claimed he had everything but his medical records and the drug test, which should be there within the next couple of days. Then all of a sudden, a quarter of a year goes by. Just enough time for Janet Buley to safely retire on the taxpayer's dime before he supposedly got them. So we waited months to hear about the driving restrictions and the, bu and the drug test that probably had showed up months earlier that I truly believe that, uh, you know, if the stuff was in there would have cleared it, then this stuff would have came out then. Instead, after waiting that long to make his decision, he couldn't even tell us one thing that came from those reports. Admitting instead he simply talked to the doctor who claimed Buley was the first human ever to not get any driving restrictions at all after cataract surgery. So we waited long enough for Janet Buley to retire just for him to not even look at the very documents we were waiting for. Well, they quickly realized how stupid it sounded that she would be the only person to ever not get a restriction. So by the time he made his statement, then it was changed to it was an exact 24-hour restriction and she was good by an hour or two. Ask anyone in the field how it works. Around a day later, they have to go get a ride back to the doctor to make sure the surgery went okay and get cleared to drive. That was the exact appointment that Buley was driving to. It was obvious she was on a restriction and shouldn't have been on the road at all, let alone without meds that they won't release in her system while on a phone interview. But of course, all of these things, I threw red flags about it time and time again to my lawyers at Gruber Law Offices and Edgar Snyder and Associates, who never once questioned any of this, no matter, no matter how many messed up, obviously wrong things happened. Whatever the DA said went, and how dare I question that, even with all these mishaps that kept happening again and again, till Buley was uh, let go without as much as a slap on the wrist. That woman killed my daughter when she shouldn't have even been on the road, and never even as much got to see the inside of a cell. Think that would have ever happened if this would have happened to her family?